Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends of the standings between the Buff Buffalo find themselves on a five. Number 25 gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. Chop toward the second baseman. Knee high, he barehands it. How about that? Now to the plate, Orelvis Martinez hit on the ground down the first baseline. This gets foul, it's 0-1. We'll be in the 80s later this oh, afternoon, oh. but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And there's out number two. Next to dig in, James Starnes. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now here is Brock Lundquist. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Strike one to start the at bat. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Struck him out. Next to stand in is Chavez Young. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That is it. Fouled off. The center field for eight. Four is Come set and the 0 1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. The 0 2 once more is at the knees and called strike three. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Ready now is Gabriel Moreno. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now here it comes. And it's fouled away. The second baseman. Number one. Here's the 0 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there, and I've seen a lot of hitters. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Make it nine straight. Here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Austin Martin will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Martin runs pretty well, which is interesting given the position he plays on the field. Usually the speedy guys are in the middle infield or in the outfield where there's a lot of ground to cover, but that's not the case with him. His plus speed makes him really unique at his position. Yeah, he does possess such an interesting skill set. It might not help him on the defensive side, but man, from an offensive standpoint, what a tool to possess. Again, another foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Oh, and he misses there. One and two. One ball. Two strikes. Still a ball and two strikes. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get an auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Locked him up with the off-speed stuff on that one. Orelvis Martinez is sent packing for the second out of the inning. James Starnes is in with two away now as he looks at a cold strike one. 
called strike 0 and 2. Just a touch outside, one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the wing. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. New inning set to get underway. And standing in the outfielder, Brock Lundquist. No balls and one strike. And he fouls this one off. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his now fifth strikeout oh, in this series field. alone. So yeah, clearly man. this pitching staff, yeah. they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Throw won't get him. Hey, listen, d -Row, they're not going to complain at all. A base hit is a base hit, even though that's an infield single. And hopefully, that's a good sign that things are about to turn for them in this one. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Stepping up is Gabriel Moreno. They'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Polanco has a read on it, and he makes the play to end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he can. He's set and the pitch. Austin Martin is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. He change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Here's another 0-2. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Now James Starnes set the plate play. now as he looks at strike one. Oh. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. First pitch of the AB on its way. The left field. Drop. One good. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. First pitch on its way. Chavez Young stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Now that swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Santander waits on it, and that retires the side. Can't ask for much more than this. Digging in will be Gabriel Moreno starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Number one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in Triple A. Fouled away. Fouled off. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Stepping in next Nash Knight. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah Matt they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Count now a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. And he gets strike three call to end it here and with that this one is over. Ten to nothing the final shutout score in this one. Worcester put a ten spot on the scoreboard in this one. Number twenty five.